They say first impressions are lasting impressions, and to a great extent that's true. Every human being has an attention time span, which averages about 8 seconds today, while 15 years back it was 15 seconds. What this means is, when you are meeting a person for the first time, he, or she, decide to pay attention to you or not, within the first 8 seconds of you introducing yourself. Therefore your introduction has to be succinct and meaningful to the person. The way you can construct your introduction to remain meaningful and engaging, is built on the 30 second elevator pitch. By definition, an elevator pitch is a brief, persuasive speech that you use to spark interest in what your organization does. You can also use it to create interest in a project, idea or product, or in yourself. A good elevator pitch should last no longer than a short elevator ride of 20 to 30 seconds, hence the name. It should be interesting, memorable and succinct. It also needs to explain what makes you, or your organization, product or idea, unique. Breaking your elevator pitch or your introduction into parts, we can say they are your name, your business name, what you or your business do. All this must happen within 30 seconds. Therefore the time breakdown should be something like, Level 1, name and what you do should be 8 seconds or less. Level 2, a slightly lengthier description of your USB can be around 15 seconds. Level 3, importance of what you do to the industry or person can be another 5-7 seconds, ending in an open-ended question. Stating your name is a no-brainer and so we will not dwell on that. What is critical is, to state what you, or your business do, in a manner which will engage the listener. You need to ask yourself, what do you want your audience to remember most about you? For example, say you work for a company named Product, which is a digital antivirus company and is a unique laptop protection business model. You could say, I am Shannon Shaw and I work as the marketing manager of Product. We believe in annihilating the virus from the root so your business can breathe freely. This statement, less than 8 seconds when spoken, and is bound to evoke interest, because, we are all living in COVID times, with masks and vaccinations. You can also use this structure for yourself, say in an interview. A word of caution at this point. Do not, I repeat, do not use cliches, slang or jargon. For example, never say, I am Sharon and I want to make a difference to the world. Or I am Sharon and I want to give back to society. Why don't you try and make a level 1 or headline for yourself? Next comes your level 2 statement, or what we can also call headline 2 or H2. At this point, the person can ask, well so many companies these days are antivirus companies, so what's so different? Or they may say, you mean you work in healthcare? Or they may say nothing at all but look at you for further information. All these are good situations and mean you have got their attention. So, asked or not, you now need to go into a more lucid explanation, where you give a brief explanation with the USB or unique selling proposition. To be clear, a USB, is the one thing that makes your business better than the competition. So now let's try and construct a level 2 line in continuation of our example. In continuation you could say, Protect is a digital antivirus protection program which identifies and destroys each virus as it is created, but also ensures your business against any losses, caused by any known viruses, within a 45-day time frame. No company on earth does that. Now together, within 25 seconds it would be dash good evening. I am Shannon Shaw and I work as the marketing manager of product. We believe in annihilating the virus from the root, so your business, can breathe freely. Actually, Protect, is a digital antivirus protection program which identifies, and destroys, each virus as it is created. It also ensures your business against any losses, caused by any known viruses, within a 45-day time frame. No company on earth does that. Now comes the third part. Your entire talk should end in an open-ended question to take the conversation forward. This could be, so, do you think such a product or service could work well for your business? Ending with an open-ended question will prompt the audience to comment or get into a conversation and that is what you want. You can now talk about what you want at length. Be succinct and to the point or you will lose your audience, even at this stage. Let's end with some important tips. 
As you have now learned the elevator pitch and how to introduce yourself in 30 seconds, do remember to keep your ongoing conversation meaningful to the listener. Some points to keep in mind are A. Clearly communicate your product service or concept. B. State how are you different. C. Are you or your company qualified to run the business? And lastly, D. Do you have proof points like customers, projects or success stories? Name them with relevance. Be meaningful in the context of the event or group you are in, and be meaningful to the person you are meeting. Talk about what you offer in terms of positive outcomes instead of focusing on generic or technical details, and be someone they can remember. Be proud and positive in your approach. Thank you for learning about the 30 seconds to success. Goodbye and good luck.